Proverbs chapter 10, the revelation, wisdom of Solomon. When wisdom comes to a son, joy comes to a father. When a son turns from wisdom, a mother grieves. Gaining wealth through dishonesty is no gain at all, but honesty brings you a lasting happiness. The Lord satisfies the longings of all his lovers, but he withholds from the wicked what their souls crave. Slackers will know what it means to be poor, while the hard worker becomes wealthy. Know the importance of the season you're in, and a wise son you will be. But what a waste when an incompetent son sleeps through his day of opportunity. The lover of God is enriched beyond belief, but the evil man only curses his luck. The reputation of the righteous becomes a sweet memorial to him, while the wicked life only leaves a rotten stench. The heart of the wise will easily accept instruction, but the one who does all the talking is too busy to listen and learn. They'll just keep stumbling ahead into the mess they created. The one who walks in integrity will experience a fearless confidence in life. But the one who is devious will eventually be exposed. The troublemaker always has a clever plan and won't even look you in the eyes. But the one who speaks correction honestly can be trusted to make peace. The teachings of the lovers of God are like living truth flowing from the fountain of life. But the words of the wicked hide an ulterior motive. Hatred keeps old quarrels alive, but love draws a veil over every insult and finds a way to make sin disappear. Words of wisdom flow from the one with true discernment. But to the heartless, words of wisdom become like rods beating their backside. Wise men don't divulge all that they know, but chattering fools blurt out words that bring them to the brink of ruin. A rich man's wealth becomes like a citadel of strength. But the poverty of the poor leaves their security in shambles. The lovers of God earn their wages for a life of righteousness. But the wages of the wicked are squandered on a life of sin. If you readily receive correction, you are walking on the path to life. But if you reject rebuke, you're guaranteed to go astray. The one who hides their hatred while pretending to be your friend is nothing but a liar. But the one who slanders you behind your back proves that he's a fool never to be trusted. If you keep talking, it won't be long before you're saying something really wrong. Prove your wise from the very start. Just bite your tongue and be strong. The teachings of the godly ones are like pure silver, bringing words of redemption to others. But the heart of the wicked is corrupt. The lovers of God feed many with their teachings. But the foolish ones starve themselves for lack of an understanding heart. True enrichment comes from the blessing of the Lord. With rest and contentment, in knowing that it all comes from him. The fool finds his fun in doing wrong, but the wise delight in having discernment. The lawless are hunted by their fears, and what they dread will come upon them, but the longings of the lovers of God will all be fulfilled. The wicked are blown away by every stormy wind. When a catastrophe comes, the lovers of God have a secure anchor. To trust a lazy person to get a job done will be as irritating as smoke in your eyes and 
as enjoyable as a toothache. To live in the worship and awe of God will bring you many years of contented living. So how could the wicked ever expect to have a long, happy life? Lovers of God have a joyful feast of gladness. But the ungodly see their hopes vanish right before their eyes. The beautiful ways of God are a safe resting place for those who have integrity. But to those who walk, who work wickedness, the ways of God spell doom. God's lover can never be greatly shaken, but the wicked will never inherit the covenant blessings. The teachings of the righteous are loaded with wisdom, but the words of the evil are crooked and perverse. Words that bring delight pour from the lips of the godly, but the words of the wicked are duplicitous. Chapter 11. Living in Righteousness To set high standards for someone else and then not even live up to them yourself is something that God truly hates. But it pleases Him when we apply the right standard of measurement. When you act with presumption, convinced that you're right, don't be surprised if you fall flat on your face. Walking in humility helps to make wise decisions. Integrity will lead you to success and happiness, but treachery will destroy your dreams. When Judgment Day comes, all the wealth of the world won't help you one bit, so you'd better be rich in righteousness. For that's the only thing that can save you in death. Those with good character walk on a smooth path, with no detour or deviation. But the wicked keep falling because of their own wickedness. Integrity will keep a good man from falling. But the unbeliever is trapped, held captive to his sinful desires. When an evil man dies, all hope is lost. For his misplaced confidence goes in the coffin and gets buried along with him. Lovers of God are snatched away from trouble. And the wicked show up in their place. The teachings of hypocrites can destroy you, but revelation knowledge will rescue the righteous. The blessings that rest on the righteous releases strength and favor to the entire city. But shouts of joy will be heard when the wicked one dies. The blessing of favor resting upon the righteous influences a city to lift it higher, but wicked leaders tear it apart by their words. To quarrel with a neighbor is senseless. Bite your tongue, be wise and keep quiet. You can't trust a gossiper with a secret. They'll just go blab it all. Put your assurance Instead, in a trusted friend, for they will be faithful to keep it in confidence. (laughs) People lose their way without wise leadership, but a nation succeeds and stands in victory when it has many good counselors to guide it. The evil man will do harm when confronted by a righteous man, because he hates those who await good news. A gracious, generous woman will be honored with a splendid reputation, but the woman who hates the truth lives surrounded with disgrace, and men who are cutthroats are only after money. A man of kindness attracts favor, while a cruel man attracts nothing but trouble. Evil people may get a short-term gain, but to sow seeds of righteousness will bring a true and lasting reward. A son of righteousness experiences the abundant life, but the one who pursues evil hurries to his own death. The Lord can't stand the stubborn heart bent toward evil, 
but he treasures those whose ways are pure. Assault your neighbor, and you will certainly be punished. But God will rescue the children of the godly. A beautiful woman who abandons good morals is like a fine gold ring dangling from a pig's snout. True lovers of God are filled with longings for what is pleasing and good, but the wicked can only expect doom. Generosity brings prosperity, but withholding from charity brings poverty. The one who lives to bless others will have blessings heaped upon them, and the one who pours out his life to pour out blessings will be saturated with favor. People will curse the business with no ethics, but the ones with social conscience receives praise from all. Living your life seeking what is good for others brings untold favor, but the one who wishes evil for others will find it coming back on them. Keep trusting in your riches and you'll in down you'll go. But the lovers of God rise up like flowers in the spring. The fool who brings trouble to his own family will be cut out of the will, and he will end up serving a wiser man. But a life lived loving God bears lasting fruit, for the one who is truly wise wins souls. If the righteous are barely saved, what's in store for all the wicked? Proverbs 12 It's right to live for God. To learn the truth, you must long to be teachable. Or you can despise correction and remain ignorant. If your heart is right, favor flows from the Lord. But a devious heart invites his condemnation. You can't expect success by doing what's wrong, but the lives of his lovers are deeply rooted and firmly planted. The integrity and strength of a virtuous wife transforms her husband into an honored king, but the wife who disgraces her husband weakens the strength of his, ide his identity. The lovers of God are filled with good ideas that are noble and pure, but the schemes of a sinner are crammed with nothing but lies. The wicked use their words to ambush and accuse, but the lovers of God speak to defend and protect. The wicked are taken out, gone for good, but the godly family shall live on. Everyone admires a man of principle, but the one with corrupt, a corrupt heart is despised. Just be who you are and work hard for a living, for that's better than pretending to be important and starving to death. <laughs> a good man takes care of the needs of his pets, while even the kindest acts of a wicked man are still cruel. <laughs> work hard at your job and you'll have what you need. For following a get-rich-quick scheme is nothing but a fantasy. The cravings of the wicked are only for what is evil, but righteousness is the core motivation for the lovers of God, and it keeps them content and flourishing. Wisdom means being teachable. The wicked will get trapped by their words of gossip, slander, and lies, but for the righteous, honesty is its own defense. For there is great satisfaction in speaking the truth, and hard work brings blessings back to you. A fool is in love with his own opinion, but wisdom means being teachable, learning to speak wisely. If you shrug off an insult and refuse to take offense, you demonstrate discretion indeed. But the fool has a short fuse and will immediately let you know he's offended. Truthfulness marks the righteous, but the habitual liar can never be trusted. 
Reckless words are like the thrust of a sword, cutting remarks meant to stab and to hurt. But the words of the wise soothe and heal. Truthful words will stand the test of time, but one day every lie will be seen for what it is. Deception fills the heart of those who plot harm, but those who promote peace are filled with joy. Calamity is not allowed to overwhelm the righteous, but there is nothing but trouble waiting for the wicked. Live in the truth and keep your promises, and the Lord will keep delighting in you, but he detests a liar. Those who possess wisdom don't feel the need to impress others with what they know. But foolish ones make sure their ignorance is on display. If you want to reign in life, don't sit on your hands. Instead, work hard at doing what's right, for the slacker will end up working to make someone else succeed. Anxious fear brings depression. But a life-giving word of encouragement can do wonders to restore joy to the heart. Lovers of God give good advice to their friends, but the counsel of the wicked will lead them astray. A passive person won't even complete a project, but a passionate person makes good use of his time, wealth, and energy. Abundant life is discovered by walking in righteousness, but holding on to your anger leads to death.